Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you multi velocity based sampling in Reaper. Now, the idea of multi velocity based sampling is that we can create a sampler in Reaper that plays different samples depending on the velocity or how hard we hit our MIDI keyboard or drum pads. So the track set up here with my MIDI input already set up, input monitoring turned on, and I'm in record. So if I play my MIDI keyboard, I should see the level right here. And we do. So let's add a sampling plugin to this track. Click right here, and we'll go down to our instruments and choose the plugin Resamplematic. 5000. This is the sampling plugin that comes with Reaper. Double click it, and now we can add samples to this plugin, which will be triggered by a MIDI controller. Now, to show you this feature, let's create a piano preset using some piano samples I downloaded from the internet. Right over here, and if you notice, there's three separate keys C3, G3, and C4. We're going to use that to spread out across the keyboard using separate zones. And if you also notice, there's four samples for each key. Soft, medium, hard, and very hard. A different sample for how hard the piano was hit. And as you'll see, doing it this way will make the piano sound more natural. But to start off simply, let's just use one sample per zone. We'll use the hard one. Let's just drag this in. Let's change the mode to note, semitone shifted. So it's going to play a different pitch every time we move up and down the keyboard. We'll turn on obey note offs. So we let go of a key, the sample stops playing. We'll adjust the minimum volume so it'll be velocity sensitive. So if I bring this all the way down and play my keyboard, if I play soft, it's softer. If I play hard, it's harder. But it's still using one sample. So it's the loud hit just played back quieter. Now let's set up a note start and note end so we can create our zone. I'll type in 45, which is going to be A2, up until 51, which is E flat 3. The note we're using is C3, but we want it to be in the middle. So it's a bit lower and a bit higher. Then we'll change the pitch start offset to minus 3. Because it's going to be off three semitones from the note start to the actual note. So now if I hit C3, It actually plays C3. But I'm also noticing the decay of the note. It's a bit too short. It's not natural for a piano. So let's adjust the release to be a bit longer. Let's hear that. That's more natural. So now let's set up a second zone to play higher. Let's copy this. Paste it to duplicate it. Add a different sample here. We'll use the G. And again, we'll use hard. Change this to 52, which is E3, which is where we left off on the last zone. And change this to 56, which is G sharp 3. So the first zone sounds like this. And the second zone sounds like this. Let's add one more. Copy this and paste it. And this time we'll use C4, but again, the hard sample. Change this to 57, which is an A3 up until 64. 
which is an E4, which will sound like this. So that could play a part using all those keys. But there's one problem with it. Even though it's velocity sensitive, we're not hearing different samples for lower and louder keys. So a piano has a weird tone to it. It's not very realistic. Even if I play it softer. It still kind of sounds like I'm playing harder because I'm using the harder samples. So what we want to do is add multiple samples to each one of our zones to create velocity-based sampling. So let's go back to our first zone, and instead of using the hard sample, let's bring in all four samples for C3. Select them all, drag and drop them right here, and they all show up in this list right here. Hard, medium, soft, and very hard. And the way this works is Reaper divides each sample into different velocities. So if we had two samples in here, when we hit the velocity of 1 to 64, we'd hear the first sample. And 65 to 127 would be the second sample. But for this situation, we have four samples. So it divides it equally into four parts. So let's put the soft one first, then the medium one, then the hard one, and the very hard one. And if we go back to this and play that zone very quietly, it plays back a quieter sample. And if we watch right here, we'll see the numbers show up. One, two, three, or four. Letting us know which sample we're hearing, or which sample we triggered. One shows up when we hit it soft. Two shows up if we hit it a bit harder. Hit it a bit harder, we get three which would be the hard sample, and if we hit it even harder, we see the fourth sample is being triggered, which is very hard. So let's do the same thing for the other zones. Let's go to this one, the G3, select all the G3 samples, drag it in, go to our list, and start it off with soft, then medium, then hard, and very hard. And we'll do the same thing with C4. Select them all, drag them in, go to our list, soft, medium, hard, and very hard. So now if we play that melody, it'll be more dynamic with different samples being triggered based on the velocity that I play. So if I play harder, it sounds harder. If I play medium, that's reflected in the performance and the samples that are being played back. And if I play really soft, It sounds a lot softer and more intimate, as it reacts more accurately to the different velocities that we're playing, as it's playing back different samples based on how hard we hit our keyboard. Let's try the same thing with a drum sample. Let's clear this. Let's create a new one with our instruments, resample Matic 5000. Let's bring in a snare sample. I have one right here. And if we drop it in, change the minimum volume so it responds to velocity, and the snare sounds like this. Play softer. It's a softer version of that same sample. But if I play something fast or marching like this, It 
It kind of sounds like a machine gun. It's not very natural. But we can use the same technique using velocity-based sampling. So in this situation, I have five samples to choose from. Very hard. Not as hard. A bit softer. Even softer. And really soft. So let's bring these in and do the same thing. Select them all, drag and drop them, go to our list, and we can see them right here. Now we want to start off with the quietest one, but we could do that very easily by choosing sort peak, and it puts them in order based on how loud they are, starting with the softest one, which is this one. So now Reaper is going to divide all the velocities by five samples equally. So if we close this, we can see a change right over here. Play it soft. One, a bit harder. Two, a bit harder. We get three, even harder. We get four, and hit it really hard, and get five. So now if I play that same pattern, It sounds a lot more natural. That's a lot more natural using five different samples of our snare drum. And of course this will work with anything we sample, making it a lot easier to be more expressive with our performances. So that's pretty much it. That's multi-velocity based sampling in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.